Hello friends. All right, gonna leave you guys shopping link here in the comments. So I'm gonna leave you the link to my Comigo site because on my Comigo site, today's the last day that you will get the free Illuminizing Face Primer for free, which is basically like the best thing for dry skin if you haven't started using it yet. I'll show you what it looks like. It's like this. So you're gonna get this for free with any order of three items on my Comigo site right there. Um, and I say items, cause you can literally purchase like makeup stuff or you can purchase hair, or not hair stuff. Um, hopefully one day. Uh, you can purchase fancy banana white, eternal, adorn headbands. There's a lot on there. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Gonna pin up our hair. I have a hair appointment at 1.30, so we have to hurry just a smidge. But we're gonna do a fall makeup look. I did a fall makeup look yesterday. It was really pretty. We did like this really pretty gold eye, if you wanna catch it on the replay. Today, I'm gonna do a similar kind of vibe, except this is gonna be really convenient. So if um, you weren't thrilled at having to buy four different eyeshadows to get yesterday's look you'll really like today's look because you will just need to buy one little palette which is this one it's the warm tone palette what I love about these is that all of the colors are meant to go together so it's all meant to go like clockwork so like um this goes on the crease outer corner the lid inner corner so it takes away the guesswork for me, which I think is so nice, especially if you're like new at doing eyeshadow, or maybe it's not like something that you feel that confident in. All right, I'm still using this same BB Tinted Moisturizer that just will not quit. For those who say like, oh, there's not a lot of product in the BB Tinted Moisturizer. I'm like, girl, there's too much. <laughs> like, I'm still using the same one bottle from like a year and a half ago, or no, two years ago, which is crazy. It's almost gone, so we are just milking it. I'm using the BB Tinted Moisturizer today for my coverage. I used the Serum Plus Foundation yesterday and raved and rant about how much I love it, and I truly do. A nice little trick too is what I like to do is actually mix the two together. So mix yesterday's foundation with today's foundation because um, this coverage is a tinted moisturizer and it has an SPF of 30. So it makes it so nice to be able to have like good coverage and know that your skin's protected. So if you are like a stickler about making sure that you're wearing your SPF, this is a good product for you because you, like I said, you can mix it, um, on any product or any foundation. Did we do it? Is it, is it gone? I think it's finally gone. Oh, I think it's finally gone. You guys, this is what it should look like when it's finished. Like all of the air has been thoroughly sucked out. So these are um, an airless pump. And when it's like, this has been used for like six months, maybe nine and we still have a ton of product in there. I personally like to put the product directly on my skin. However, I was putting it on the brush because I was just scared that it was gonna like get all over the place. Um, but I typically also don't apply this much of it, but like I said, we're trying to get rid of, <laughs> we're trying to finally use up the last bit of it, which we finally did. This is the BB Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Light. I, hands down, am extremely impressed with how long one bottle of foundation is gonna last you. And now I can confidently say, It'll last you way longer than a year. <laughs> All of my necklaces, minus this one, um, are from Casey Chic, which same as this little ring. So cute. Code Rhea saves on her website as well. Code Rhea is where you can find my my uh, baby tinge moisturizer or my necklaces. Is the primer the same type as a pump of the BB? Yes, it is. Our primers are also airless, which is actually a really big thing. Like it's actually like a really good thing because you typically don't want a non airless when it comes to especially primer and BB tinted moisturizer, because one, you're going to get way more product use out of your 
tube or whatever. And then the second thing is that you are going to, um, if you are ever worried about like oxid, like your foundation oxidizing, um, an airless won't oxidize. And what that means is that, like when you put it on and it looks like a perfect match, but then as it like settles into the skin, it may start to look darker. That's obviously not something we want because then how are we supposed to figure out our color match, right? So what I love about the BB Tinted Moisturizer is it won't do that. Uh, neither would the Serum Plus Foundation has a less likelihood as well, but you typically are going to want an airless pump if you are extremely worried about that or if you just have some people's skin type or skin tone just naturally oxidizes, meaning that like you put on one color and then it doesn't match because it looks darker on your skin tone or lighter. Who knew, you know? All right, so I just took my concealer and I just used it as a spot treatment. So again, we're wearing the BB Tinted Moisturizer. I love that it's hydrating. I love that it's not a full thick coverage. And I especially love that it has an SPF of 30 in it. So it's very healing, protecting for our skin. And like I said, it's a moisturizer, so it's super hydrating. So on those dry winter months, it's one of my favorite coverages to make sure to have. Still have product in the tube, but the primer stopped coming out. So make sure if that happens to you ever, just um, make sure, never unscrew it. Like never take this off because that can cause air to get into the tube, especially your BB, which you don't want. So smack it in the palm of your hand. Sometimes you have to redo this too, like smacking it. And then when you're pumping this, you want to do short, shallow pumps, not deep, fast pumps. Because if you're going fast and like all the way down, it's actually sucking in air. We're trying to get air out. So you want to do short, shallow pumps. And you might have to do that for a little bit and then it'll come out. But just wear your patient's hat and you'll you'll get it out. But um, if it ever feels like oh, it's not working now, it just has air in it and it just needs to be removed. It's called priming the pump. Typically, you won't have to prime it more than like once when you have it, but uh, I have seen that happen with my BB where I've had to reprime it, which is, again, not a big deal. You smack it in your hand, you short sell shallow pumps. But if you ever have questions, always feel free to reach out to me. Always happy to help. Now I'm using the Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Lace for my under eye. This goes really great with all of our foundations, but especially the BB Tinted Moisturizer because we're kind of using the lighter coverage and then we're using like a fuller coverage for our under eye. My under eye has always been like my trouble spot where I've had like dark circles. I have like a little bit of an indentation like on both sides that kind of goes in more, which tends to ca cast a shadow. So in that case, I really want to make sure that I have good coverage. That just makes me feel like very flawless on my under eyes. Really an important thing for me with makeup. And I am telling you, I am like, the biggest brat when it comes to concealer it needs to not be oily because then I don't want it creasing it needs to be full coverage I don't want to see darkness on my under eye after I use it that's the whole point and it can't be too thick that it doesn't blend out and like I said it can't be too oily so it's like creasing um the thinness is a big thing for me like the um shape tape concealer I was so disappointed when I tried that for the first time years and years and years ago. I was like, this provides no coverage. Like, this is great. This is a great concealer if you have no dark circles <laughs> or no imperfections on your under eye, then great for you. But then that, to me, defeats the whole purpose of wearing concealer. So, was not impressed. And we used to have a concealer that I did really like the coverage of, but it was a little bit of an oilier, oilier consistency. So it was kind of like very, had to be very careful of not using too much, not using enough. It was a little tricky. And then we came out with the Skin Solution Concealer that we have now, and I am telling you, it is so good. Not only do you get like a gigantic, like this is the biggest concealer I've ever seen. So it lasts for extra, like a very, very, very long time, but it is full coverage. It's not super oily. It's not super thick. It is like the best of all worlds. It's so good. I will try to smack it. I didn't do that yet. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah, good. Don't take the pump off. Yeah, Tammy, I'll message you. 
So if you're wondering what Tammy's talking about, she said Flawless 4 link. So what the Flawless 4 link is, is basically I've made a bundle that includes everything that I've used so far, which basically is your primer, your setting mist, which we are going to use, your foundation choice, which I used the BB Tint Moisturizer today, and then I did my concealer. And then I actually have a Flawless 5, which includes the pressed powder to set it all. So if you want that 20% off and a free gift, Go and say Flawless 5. And if you need to remove anything, you can. If you want to add on to the bundle to maximize your savings, you can. And again, the free gift is going to be the Illuminizing Face Primer. So if you're like, I don't want two primers, we can remove that because you're going to get this for free and add in like the contour stick that we did. So if you want to customize the Flawless 5, just private message me here on Facebook and say Flawless 5 Customize and I can ask you what you'd like to change in it and I will build you the whole cart. So literally you don't have to do anything but check out. So if that sounds like a game plan, private message me here on Facebook. And then how to do it if you've never like messaged anyone on Facebook before. Tap on my, my face right now and a window is going to come down. You're going to see my name, Rhea Hope. If you click that, it's going to take you away from this live, but it is going to take you to my Facebook page, which is, again, called Raya Hope, and um, you can private message me there. Okay, we're going to take some blush. We're going to take the shade Peony Pink, and we're going to pop this on the apple of the cheek. This is one of my favorite products for blush because it's just a very soft and subtle shade, but it does give your skin like a really nice fleshness. So it really like illuminizes your cheek structure, which is really flattering on. And it's a really light, pretty uh, light pink. Perfect. Tammy, send me a message so I can customize that for you. The concealer brush, I'll give you the link in the comments. Make sure you get it with the concealer that I'm using because they are best friends. They work so well together. Don't split them up. All right. So before we go ahead and set anything, I want to make sure that you have all of the areas where you might crease or look um, with your fine lines kind of pressed in because we're going to go with the setting powder. I love using the BB Tinted Moisturizer because of it, how it's really hydrating because of all the great factors to it, but I do have naturally oily skin, especially when I wear makeup. So I make sure to just set mine really well, and then I prefer to set it with a setting powder and a pressed powder. Most people can get away with just setting it with a pressed powder. So it all kind of depends on your skin type and like what, how you like your makeup to look. Um, but if you have oily skin and you want to use a setting powder, just say oily skin setting powder and I will give you the link to the one I'm using. If you have dry skin, say dry skin setting powder and I'll give you the link to the one that's better. That's not going to dry you out because if you have dry skin and you're using this, this is going to make your face look cakey. I'll be honest. So this technique, which is called baking, it's essentially using a translucent powder to absorb any of your natural oils. Only good for oily skin. Now, if you have dry skin, you're going to skip this step and you're going to move on straight to this. This is also part of my Flawless 5, which again, comes with your primer for free. It's going to come with your setting mist, which you saw me use with my setting powder, but we're also going to use it after. It's going to come with your BB Tinted Moisturizer, your concealer, and then it's going to come with your pressed powder. And then you can add on anything to this bundle you want. So if you want to use what I used for contour, you can, which I used the Bare You All-in-One Color Stick in the shade Barely Bronze for my contour today. And it is just the prettiest, creamiest bronzer. And what I love about it too is that it has a 10 hour transfer proof hold. So this pressed powder, you typically, I feel like most people are like, oh, I can't use pressed powder, I have dry skin. That might be true with others, but not this one. This one has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. It is so insanely silky soft and it makes your skin look poreless. Like it is so good. You wanna put it on with a big giant brush, bigger the better um, when you're applying that, just to make sure it goes on a little more evenly and lightly. Right, we're going to just touch up our contour with some bronzer. And this is the shade Light. This is actually 50% off right now, if you haven't checked that out yet. I used to have severe dry skin until I started using unique skincare, and I have normal skin. Isn't that the best? That is so awesome. I'm so happy for you. If you haven't started to invest in your skincare and you feel like you have troubled skin, Starts with the skincare. The better your skin looks, the better your makeup's gonna look. If you ever need any 
help picking out your skincare, just say skincare help and I'll private message you. All right, just enhancing the contour a little bit. It tends to look a little bit lighter after you set it with uh, pressed powder, but some people might like that, like the lighter look of um, your bronzer, but not me. I also love to touch up my blush. This is the shade Sisterly. This is also 50% uh, off, so it's only $13. So nice. And then we're going to do the highlight in the shade Golden. And we're going to pop this on the bridge and tip of the nose and then highest part of the cheekbones. You guys, this is like the prettiest thing ever. I love to put this like on the collarbones like this. If you're wearing a short where you can see your collarbones. It really illuminizes wherever you put this, which is nice. So sometimes I love to take like an eyeshadow brush and like carve out your cupid's bow. Inner corner, like literally you could do this all over it and it's so pretty on. All right, so gonna go ahead now and do our brows. Okay, perfect. Tammy, make sure you message me so I can add those into your cart. Can you buy Lange products and get the primer for free? So Lange is on Comigo. Hopefully one day they will, but for now they're not. Um, and I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. <laughs> but uh, my Lange link is right there, pinned in the com or written in the comments. And that is where you can find all of the hair care and the hair tools that I use and love which I did actually do a hair tutorial the other day where we curled our hair, loved it. Got the well-to-do lippy combo that you do. Um, try uh, filling in your whole lip with a different lip liner color. With having different lip like colors, uh, sometimes lipsticks will look different on different people. So how to kind of change that is try getting a different color lip liner like the shade Polite and filling in your whole lip with that color and then line with plush and then do well to do and see if that alters it at all. Yay, hi Sherry, thanks for being here. All right, gonna go ahead and fill in our brows a little bit. I think I'm ready to finally get them waxed. But now it's been so long, I'm like nervous to do it. Like, what if they make them too thin? I've spent the last few months growing them out. Torn. Very torn. Hello, Tiffany. I feel like there's been so many people who have said you haven't been seeing my posts, but you are today, which is so exciting. So if you haven't seen my Facebook or my Instagram for a while and you are seeing it right now, make sure to let me know in the comments so we can celebrate together that I'm no longer shadow banned or whatever the heck was happening. So say hello, let me know where you're watching from. If you've never seen one of my tutorials before, say newbie in the comments so I can welcome you as well. And then if you are a silent watcher, you don't really comment, if you could just comment an emoji or just say hi. <laughs> Any amount of engagement is super helpful for me. So thank you in advance for doing that. All right, brows are done. Let's go ahead and do this moody lip, uh, lip combination. We're gonna do the lip liner in the shade Patience. And liner this with this. Also at four o'clock my time, which it's one o'clock right now, I will be live with a boutique called Velvet Noir. And on her, I'll be live on her app and I'll be live here on Facebook to do a live try on of some pieces that I posted on Instagram stories. So if you wanna see um, a live try on, it's really fun. Make sure you tune back in here around uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yay! Hi, Teresa. Thanks for being here. Hello. Thank you so much for commenting, even though you probably didn't want to. All right, we're going to do lip liner in money. Moneyed. And I know, you're probably like, that's brown. It's like the color of my shirt. Trust the process. It has been one of my go-to lip looks for years. Okay, 
we're going to blend that out into the lip liner. Okay. Oh, you tricked me. Thank you for being here. All right, now we're going to take the lipstick in the shade Minted and put that on top. And this drastically changes the look of the lipstick. Oh, fun. I don't really dress up unless my mom has a Halloween party, which she's not this year. So we got away with not having to dress up, but my kids are being, <laughs> I got able this blow up sumo suit. It's really funny actually. And then my daughter is going to be Taylor Swift, like in her like gold fringy dress. I don't know. <laughs> It's like, sure, why not? Um, okay, ready for this eye look? So this is really a pretty palette and it takes all of the hard work and all of the guessing out of doing your eyeshadow because it has this um, metallic gold, has a matte darker brown, a lighter brown, and then kind of like a champagne. So, so good, so easy to use. So if you feel like you're newer at doing eyeshadow, you'll be able to do this. I know, Abel's suit's so funny. He had no idea what he was going to be, and then we came across that on Amazon, and he was sold, and it's really funny. I'm just like, I hope it doesn't pop before Halloween. He keeps wanting to wear it, and I'm like, no, you're going to pop it. And they, like, do their Halloween parade at school on Halloween, because they're in school that day. And we also might go trick-or-treating at a different neighborhood like the weekend before Halloween. So I'm like, it has to last <laughs> quite a few different events before trick-or-treating the night of. So I'm like trying to not let him wear it, but it was only like $12. So part of me wants to just like order another one just in case. But then I'm going to feel like such a waste of money if it doesn't pop and I have two. All right, we're going to use, first off, you want to go with this lighter brown color. Like I said, this is going to be the easiest bronzy eye you've ever recreated because it all comes from one tiny little palette, which is so nice. And it's perfect for fall. It's going to equal out to the prettiest fall eye look. This is called the Warm Palette or sorry, Warm Tones palette, and this is available on my Comigo site, I believe, hopefully, <laughs> should have looked, um, it's so good, no, he cannot sit in it, he'll have to deflate it when he, well, he'll probably only have to wear it to the parade, and then I'll probably make him take it off, so it doesn't ruin him at school, my son is gonna be Deadpool, oh, how fun, that's cool, they do a little costume contest, okay, then the other side, I've never really been big into Halloween when I was younger. I had a really strict Christian father, which is hilarious um, for him now. But uh, we weren't allowed to celebrate Halloween. So we would go to, does anyone remember DZ Zone? <laughs> you have to be definitely in your late 30s, 40s to remember what that is I don't even know if that was like an all over the U.S. thing or if that was only like a San Diego thing but it was basically like it was basically like Chuck E. Cheese except they had like laser tag and then they had there's no like giant mouse <laughs> it was like just a game place and then they had like they had like a slime room or something like that anyway we would go there on Halloween instead which I mean we didn't mind we were kids and we got this huge place to ourselves because obviously Everyone's out trick-or-treating. So we would go there on Halloween every year. So at least they did something with us. I'm going to use this darker brown color now in the outside corner. So we weren't allowed to dress up. So my first time trick-or-treating, I was 15 years old. I was a ninja. It was so cute. I had never been trick-or-treating, obviously, and I... I think I like told a group of my friends this and they're like, we're going this year. And I'm like, we're too old for that. And they were like, we're just going to go. And we did. And it was super fun. Yeah, no Halloween. So 
we definitely, I don't want my kids to have, to not be able to celebrate that. So we, we do, but so not like my favorite holiday. I'm more into Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the fun things. But I have a couple girlfriends who like love Halloween and they love dressing up. So more power to you. All right, gonna press this darker color in. See how I'm kind of like sticking to the outside corner of the eye? Which this eyeshadow color that I'm using right now is like the same color as my bodysuit. Which is from Amazon. It's really cute. I love the way it's like cut. If you want the link to it, just say bodysuit. And I'll give you my Amazon storefront. And then it's going to be under the folder that says as seen on Instagram. Okay. So dark color on, lighter color on. Notice that I'm using two different eyeshadow brushes for these colors. So that way you can go back in and like touch up the colors if you need to. And then I forgot to get out a brush. We're going to take this liner shader brush and just grab that darker brown that we use. And we're just going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. This is going to give like a smoky, cohesive finish look. Very easy. These eyeshadow colors are just honestly the easiest to wear and the easiest to apply. If you don't have this palette yet, definitely do so. It's called the Warm Tones Palette. Or just say eyes and I'll give you the link to everything that we're going to use on our eyes today. And then let's go with our fingernail and I'm going to take this gold, which is like a metallic, really pretty, like reflects the light. And we're going to put this on the eyelid. Like this. Both sides, and then we'll touch it up with a eyeshadow brush. Okay. Getting my nails done after this. I haven't decided what color to do. I always like screenshot inspo for my nails. <laughs> so I need to go through that album on my phone. What colors of the lip liner and lipsticks did you use? I used the lip liner in the shade Patience. And then I did the lipsticks in the shades Moneyed and Minted. Okay, that looks pretty. And then like I said, make sure that you're using those separate eyeshadow brushes so that way you can go back in and blend. Just like so. Which these separate eyeshadow brushes are called the fluffy crease brush. They are just so good. So nice and easy to use. Okay, and then let's take our mirror and take an eyeliner. We're going to do the shade proper. I've been addicted to doing this lately. It's just such an easy way to make your, um, your lashes look fuller. And it gives you like a smoked out look to your eyes and it's really pretty. So eyeliner. What's all over the compact? What's all over the compact? I don't know. Mm, my gold goes everywhere. Oh, very messy. How do I fix it? Um, I would just like blow it away. And... You could probably take your setting spray and spray it on the eyeshadow colors. All right, taking the eyeliner and we're just kind of smudging this out. So easy. Again, love this pencil. I mostly love it because you don't have to be good at it. <laughs> like the messier you are, it's fine. As long as you try to stick to like along the lash, you're golden. Again, that was the eyeliner in the shade proper. Just say the word eyes and I'll give you the link to everything that I'm using. And then we're gonna go in with the setting mist. 
which is honestly the most important part to any makeup look is a setting spray. This one has primer infused in it, so it's going to be very silky soft. Um, and it's going to help everything stay in place really, really well. Well, you could do it outside if you blew on it or if you do it over a trash can or something and then setting mist. Also, you can kind of take your finger and kind of compress that down. And then if you want everything that I use for my lips, just say lip kit and I will give you that link. And if you want a link to everything that I use today, say product list and I can give you a link to everything that we use discounted. And like I said, today's the last day that you will get the free Illuminizing Face Primer with any order of three items. And if you order four items on my Kumigo website, you will get 20% off everything. So 20% and a free item. It's pretty dang awesome. All right, we're going in with Quadra, which this mascara has a lash growth formula in it. So it is very amazing at helping your lashes to grow. And it's a tubing mascara, so it's water resistant, it's waterproof, smudge proof, really good if you have oily eyes. And it just makes your lashes look so long. So good. And if you need any help picking out what colors you are in any of the makeup, just say color match. And if you could do me a big favor, if you know of anyone that would enjoy a tutorial like this, if you could bottom left hand corner, click that little button and either share this on your Facebook wall or tag them in the comments or copy the link and paste it on your social media, your Instagram story, text it to your friends. Any way to get my name out there is a huge, huge help to me. This is what I do for a living. So all of your orders, no matter if it's big or small, truly does help me a great deal. So if you need any makeup or any skincare, please message me. My sister's baby is so good. She is so cute. She's almost a month old. She's 10 pounds now. I need to go over and hang out with her soon. Miss the little chunky. All right, I'm gonna go over here. And I'm doing a one nice coat of the mascara called Twisted. And this is a really good mascara too. Cause it has argan oil, keratin and biotin. And then it has this like itty bitty little wand that has the best reach, especially for harder to reach eyelashes like the bottom. Uh, what mascara remover do you use for this mascara? So I use the Cleansing Balm from Unique. It is fantastic. It melts all of your makeup away and it's really, really nourishing and hydrating for your face and your eyes. So I use the Cleansing Balm to remove my mascara. And then I actually also use the Cleansing Cloths from Unique and I use both. So I'll use the Cleansing Cloth to remove all of my makeup and then the residue from my cleansing balm. So I do, I use both of those to remove them. Easy peasy. And again, if you need help or if you're like, okay, I want that, where do I find the link? Just either private message me here on Facebook or Instagram. I'm always happy to help give you guys any links that you might need. Um, again, I will be live around four o'clock Pacific Standard Time to do a live try on of some really pretty dresses and rompers for uh, the fall. So make sure to tune in here so you can see the replay on that. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you need any help picking out your makeup or your skincare. I'm always happy to help. My link is right here, pinned in the comments. And then I also have this link right here, which is my unique website. Just make sure you see my name, my, my photo. And then also, if you missed it yesterday, my Shala supplements are finally available for purchase. Uh, if you haven't checked these out yet, they're incredible. They help regulate your hormones. They help regulate your period. They help to regulate your stomach. They help to heal leaky gut. They help and do so much as a woman, especially if you're pre-menopause pre or menopausal. These are going to be life-changing for you. So they just launched. They are available right now. Make sure you don't sleep on those. Um, let me know if I can be of any help to you guys. I'll see you at 4 o'clock. Bye.